Hey everybody, it's Beth. Welcome to Infinite Garden. I love Chanel nail polish. I love the colors. I love the formulas. I love how they perform. And I love the undeniable little moment of luxury while I'm performing my at-home manicure. I have nine shades in my collection. If you include the Le Base base coat, I have one metallic formula, a few shears, and some creams. Some of these bottles have been with me for a few seasons and some are newer to the market. Let me show you why I love Chanel nail polish. La Base Base Coat is excellent. It feels nourishing and it dries quickly. The formula evens out nail texture and color and can be worn alone, which is something I do often. I've sampled most of the base coats on the market and La Base has become my favorite. I use it every time I paint my nails with the Chanel polish. Canotier is a brushed gold. This exact color is not offered currently, but on the Chanel website, they offer a color called Tuxedo, which looks like a pretty close match. I find the metallic formula can be applied in a single coat but that I need to be mindful of my application because the metallic particles can drift a bit and show my brush strokes. This is a gorgeous wearable neutral gold polish. The brushed metallic effect helps to make the shade relevant beyond the holiday season, although it is brilliant at that time of year too. White Silk is a sheer formula that builds to a nearly opaque neutral off-white. This polish provides enough white to read as white polish, but enough color intelligence to be flattering to my skin. This is newer to my collection, and I'm looking forward to wearing this one a lot in spring and summer. I prefer this with two coats, but it is still pretty with just one coat. I do find the color can drift and collect, giving a single coat application a somewhat uneven effect. This works itself out completely with two coats, which is my preference. Ballerina is probably the oldest shade in my collection, but certainly the most worn. This bottle is almost empty and I will very likely repurchase. The formula still applies beautifully even though it's older, and the shade is lovely in one coat alone over La Base. This is extremely wearable and the color is so forgiving of small chips. This is easy to apply, it's easy to wear, and it is so chic, so pretty. I love Ballerina. Fossaire is a cream pink beige, and this one is new to my collection. The word Fossaire translates into a person who falsifies documents or a forger. I am delighted by this. I find this shade to be perfect for my skin tone to make mannequin nails, and it has just slightly more pink than my skin tone, giving it a little bit more of a presence. It's perfectly office ready, but it also is just slightly more glamorous. I've been wearing this most weeks, and I find that a single coat over La Base is enough to keep the manicure in decent shape for most of the week. Chips are more obvious than with Ballerina, but overall not so obvious on me. This is becoming a favorite shade. Diva is new to me. It is a fuchsia pink and I am in love. This polish applies evenly and perfectly with a single layer. I find this color is vivid on my hands and maybe reads as a red, but it's also less overtly bombshell than a true red. This bright pink is my dream pedicure shade and I intend to apply this to my toes before an upcoming beach vacation and probably again and again for the rest of the summer. Ate Indienne is another recent addition to my collection. The shade is a bright true orange in a sheer formula that can be built up. With one coat, you can achieve a light orange effect. With two coats, you can achieve an effect closer to opaque, but not quite. I do like this shade, but find that it might be too true an orange for me. This might not be a perfect shade for me, but on the right person, it is gorgeous. I do intend to wear it. I was trying to find a dupe for Gucci's Peggy Sunburn, and I think that a Tay Indienne might not be the right shade for that. They have another shade, Premier Dame, and that one I think might be a closer match to Gucci's Peggy Sunburn. I'm not sure what happened to the footage of my applying 510 Gaten, which is no longer offered on the Chanel website. 147 Incendiaire looks like the closest match to this bright warm red, but I have not been able to compare them side by side. I love this vivid red for the holidays or any time. It's especially great as a summer pedicure. 
This applies perfectly with one coat and I find it flattering on my skin, which is quite neutral. Pirate is still available, and this is a beautiful bluish red glossy formula that applies and leaves a high shine finish. I worried when I first bought it that it would look vampy on me, but it is actually quite wearable. I've almost finished this bottle of Pirate, mostly by using it as a super pretty pedicure shade. I will likely finish this bottle before spring comes. After a decade of bi-weekly salon gel manicures, I switched to painting my nails at home with traditional polish. While $32 a bottle is steep when compared to other polishes on the market, one bottle will give me dozens of manicures at home and I've come to believe that they're worth it. It's been a few years and I've gotten better at it, but every manicure I give myself is still a little flawed. I found that the best thing a polish can be for me is quick to apply and relatively quick drying. I've ditched using a top coat, so I have a fighting chance of not digging my almost dry nails. I tend to have a lot to do and it can be hard to wait for four layers of polish to fully dry. I like the finish of the Chanel polish without a top coat. It's shiny, but also hard wearing. For ease of use while still offering a beautiful result, it has become my very favorite. Have you tried Chanel nail polish? What do you think? Is there another brand that makes a formula that you prefer? Let me know in the comments. I love to hear from you. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like. If you want to hang out again, please consider subscribing. I post videos on Sundays. Anyway, I hope that you're all doing well out there and I hope you have a great week ahead. Thank you so much for watching. Talk soon.